Would you like to win and achieve success at what you do? Welcome to the Winner's Ways Podcast, where we create winners every day. And now, your host, the author of Winner's Ways book and life coach, Bola Alabi. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Winner's Ways podcast. I'm your host, Bola Halabi. I'm excited to have you join me here today. And guys, can you imagine? We are already in the second half of the year. Wow, second half of 2019 already. I hope you guys are moving forward in your goals. I hope you are making progress in your desires. I hope everything is working according to your plans. Well, if you remember, I wrote a goal setting guide in the beginning of this year. I hope you guys making progress in your goals uh, because time is running by and I want you to achieve your goals because that's what I do. Here at Winners Ways, I support you, I motivate you uh, to set goals and work towards achieving those goals. Anyway, if you are yet to get a copy of my goal setting guide, uh, I'm going to leave it on the show notes so you can easily uh, download your goal setting guide. So, like I said, we are in the second half of the year. And one of the reasons why people uh, tend not to take decision, why people uh, may fail at achieving their goals is because uh, they wait for perfection. And that's why I'm making today's episode that I titled Imperfect Action is Better Than Perfect in Action. And today is episode 35 of this podcast, again titled, Imperfect Action is Better Than Perfect in Action. And what I mean by this is that most of the time, we tend to wait for everything to be perfect before we actually make a decision. We tend to wait for all the stars to align for us before we take a forward step in our goals. I'm for uh, working on your best product. I'm for making sure that whatever you do, you produce your finest uh, product or give your best to anything that you do. But I don't want you to just wait and stay in that holding pattern without taking any small steps. And that's why we'll be talking about imperfect action is better than perfect in action. So I found out that there are two main reasons why people tend to wait, why people always don't make decisions. The first reason, of course, is the fear of failure. And the fear of failure is real. Nobody wants to fail in whatever they do. And because of the thought of failing, people tend not to even take any step. And that is real. The second reason why people fail to heart is they wait for perfection. Waiting for perfection is a way of putting yourself in a holding pattern whereby you are not making any decision, whereby you are not acting on anything until you feel everything is perfect. And we allow the excuse of perfection to hold us back. We allow the excuse of waiting for perfection to prevent us from achieving our goals. Sometimes we simply don't know what to do in order to move forward. And other times we know what to do, but we aren't sure of how to do it. 
I've heard about so many excuses. Like for instance, maybe someone is start is trying to start a business. Their excuse may be, "Oh, I don't have enough money to start that business," or "I don't have enough experience to start a business." Or maybe your own case is that you are trying to apply for a job, but you are telling yourself that, "Hey, I don't have enough experience to apply for that job." Some excuses are also due to busyness of life, where we say, "Oh, we are too busy," even to sit down and make a plan. Maybe you are planning to write a book. And your excuse is, oh, I'm too busy to sit and write my book. So all these excuses sometimes may be genuine, but if we let them get in our way, we'll not be able to take any step or achieve any meaningful thing. So I want to tell you my own story so that you'll know that we all face this、uh, challenge of waiting for perfection. Uh, last year, when I was planning to、uh, start making this podcast, those excuses showed up. Oh, what are you going to talk about? How are you going to even start your podcast? How are you going to set it up? What if you run out of content? What if people don't want to listen to you? You see, all these excuses—they are real, because then. I had no experience about starting a podcast, but I did what I'm telling you. I did not wait for everything to be perfect. I did not wait until I became perfect in podcasting before I started my podcast. So I took that first small step. I wrote out the content. I started learning how to create a podcast. I googled it out. I spoke with people that are already、uh, making podcasts. So I took the step. I recorded my first episode, and that was December of 2018. And guess what, guys? 35 episodes later, our show has been downloaded across over 20 countries all around the world, and we've had. Thousands of downloads as a result. Look at the other scenario. Assuming I did not act, I assuming that I was waiting for everything to be perfect. When I know everything about podcasting, we wouldn't be here today, and you wouldn't be listening to me today. So again, I don't want you to wait for everything to be perfect before you start taking that small step. Have you heard about this popular saying that the richest place in the world is in the graveyard? And people say this because all ideas that were not executed often die with people. Talents that were not tapped will die with those people, and all sorts of great things they die with people that refuse to take small steps. One of my favorite quotes is from Les Brown, and I'm going to read it. It says, "The graveyard is the richest place on earth because it is here that you'll find all the hopes that and dreams that were never fulfilled, the books that were never written, the songs that were never sung, the invention that were never shared, the cures." They were never discovered, all because someone was too afraid to take that first step. They keep with a problem or determined to carry out their dreams. End of quote. So, my friend, today's message for you is that you should not wait for everything to be perfect before you start acting and working on your plans. I want you to act. I want you to use action that will move you forward, that will propel you towards your goals. So go ahead and create that content for your book. Go ahead and register that business. 
go ahead and enroll in that evening school. For instance, yes, you are planning to go into a business. You may not know everything about that business, but that shouldn't stop you from carrying out your feasibility study. You should, let's say you want to go into a retail business, you should think about uh, location uh, of where you put your business. You should register your business. You should write a business plan. You should know your customers. All these good things, you should do your research. And by doing your research, you can determine whether the business will be suitable for you or not. So whatever you want to achieve, I want you to start today by taking the first small steps. You should take imperfect action because you are never going to know everything from day one. You are never going to know all the answers from day one. You are never going to win if you let the fear of failure hold you back. You are never going to know what success looks like if you don't start at all. And my friends, you are never going to be flawless. You will need to learn in your journey and you continue to get better. Everything is not going to align from day one. So my quick tips for today, if you are in the middle of making a decision on your next goal, I encourage you to start with what you've got. Because it's okay to do a good job and keep improving so two quick tips the first one you should be okay with a b minus job and him for continuous improvements like i said when i started my uh, podcast i used to use my phone to record uh, my message and i'll publish it but later i got a microphone uh, a noise cancelling microphone that's even better than just uh an ordinary iPhone. Uh, later, I got a Mac uh, book computer to help me uh, with my recording. Later, I, I got more comfortable with it. But again, if I had waited, I wouldn't even have learned anything. So I learned along the line. I'm pretty sure my very first episode is not as great as this episode 35. And I know that someday when I get to episode 100, episode 100 is going to be a lot better than this episode 35. So that is continuous improvement. Aim for continuous improvement. And number two, you must do something. Because if you don't do anything, you are not going to achieve anything. I need you to take a step. There's this common saying that the most painful regret is that of inaction. I will not want you to look back 10 years from now and say, I should have, I could have, I would have. All this could have, would have, should have shouldn't be part of your story. So today, I encourage you to take imperfect action, aim for continuous improvements, be a learner so that you can get better at what you do. Uh, you know what I do? I encourage, I motivate, and I challenge people. So my call to action today is, are you sitting on any decision today? Are you in that holding pattern? Are you waiting for everything to be perfect before you act? So this week, I need you to put a plan together. Don't just think about this plan in your mind or tell me that, oh, I have it on my brain. No, I need you to write your plans down. And number two, make a decision every day and work on that plan. Finally, let's say you are not sure of how to start. Please feel free to DM me on any of my social media handles. Twitter, or Facebook, DM me, let me know what you are planning to do. Maybe I may uh, be able to guide you 
And if I cannot, I may be able to recommend someone that can. Finally, action is the only way you can execute on your decision. And that's the only way you know whether something works or not. Any day, any time, imperfect action is better than perfect in action. And that's where I'll end today. You know what I do here at Winners Ways Podcast. I'm here to encourage you, to motivate you, to live your life to the fullest. I want you to discover your potential. I want you to win and succeed in life. Please subscribe to my podcast. Please rate and review this show so that we can attract more people. Thank you. Till next time again, go and win. This episode of Winner's Ways Podcast has come to a close. We hope you enjoy and learn something from today's show. We want you to win and excel in all areas of your life. And we regularly explore and share information with our listeners to empower them to win. Be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more tips and strategies to help you find the success that you've always dreamt of. And don't forget to rate and review so that we can continue to bring you more podcast episodes to empower you. We will love to have you again next week. Now, keep winning. Thank <laughs> you.